Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning into another Addicted Fishing video. We're actually in the kitchen, which isn't somewhere where you normally see us start. We're out on the river all day today. Kind of got our butts kicked. We're all sunburnt. But we did get a little bit of a we bounty walleye, here yeah. to cook. So what we're gonna do tonight is we have a walleye and we have a smallmouth bass. We're gonna do a little blind taste test to see if us in the house can tell the difference between the two. So drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys think. If you tried walleye, if you tried bass, what would you prefer if you were eating these fish? They're both like a white meat flaky fish. And in my opinion, they're both pretty good. So I, I don't know if we're going to be able to tell the difference at all. I don't think you will. See, he doesn't think we're going to be able to. So what do you think? Do you think we're going to be able to tell the difference? I don't know. It's, white meat's my favorite fish. So we'll see. Call it. We'll, we'll see. see. You know, I, I love walleye. I think I've eaten enough of it to be able to tell the difference, but I've had them both and I like them both. And you, you're gonna cook them exactly the same way, right? So I'm gonna say maybe if they're like deep fried, like you're making uh, for fish tacos or something, you might be able to tell the difference. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna bake it, and we're gonna bake it with a little bit of um, seasoning on it. So we're gonna go through. Um, first, we're gonna drizzle olive oil on it, lemon pepper. Then I use this stuff here called Alpine Touch. I don't know if you're not familiar with Alpine Touch. It's got salt, pepper, garlic powder. Um, onion powder, just kind of your basic all seasoning, mm -hmm. and so we're gonna bake that, and then we're gonna we're gonna broil with Parmesan cheese on top. So it sounds tasty. I'm excited. We'll, we'll give it a test. We'll here. see, and then if it's not good, we have pizza on the way. So at least we'll get to eat something. <laughs> at least we'll get to eat something. Hey, I also wanted to mention we're here this weekend hanging out with the Flayaway guys. As you guys know, they're one of our partners. We have an awesome discount code. So if you haven't had a chance to get a Flayaway fish mat. Walleye 15, code in the description down below. Check it out. Let's eat some walleye. There, it's on. There, 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 get it, get it, get it. Feels like no walleye. It's pretty decent here. Well, yeah, it's a hitter. Yeah. Hammered it. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little whatever it is. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Fish on? What is it, Pete? It's a little bad. Up, uh, smally. <laughs> Not the target, but we'll take it. Is it a good one? Yeah. Get a net for this one. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Ready? There we go. Got an eater. So with, with the olive oil, just Get a little bit in there. You don't need too much. There's moisture in the fish. Some of the, a lot of that's going to bake out. It's going to get kind of wet in the pan when you're baking here. Don't put too much lemon pepper. If you put too much and all you taste is lemon, you might as well put a, I don't know, insole from a shoe in there or something because you won't get any of the fish. Walleye's a really good fish. So light on the lemon pepper. This here is more personal preference. I mean, same thing. I don't, I don't get carried away. Just kind of a light sprinkle over the whole thing. And then the Parmesan, once again, preference. I like to have a, basically a little layer over the whole surface here. Get that cheese crusted up when you um, broil it. A little bit more here. Without, without overdoing it. So right like that. Then I'm going 325 for about 10 minutes. At that point, I'll switch it over to broil and I'll just broil it, till it just till it crusts up. So let's throw it in the oven here. Okay, so we're just gonna check real quick, see if this, you can see how the fish is, just like any other fish, once it flakes, it's done. So we're just gonna put the broil on for a few minutes here. Get that cheese to crust up and then we'll see if we can tell the difference here. Pull this out here now. So it looks like the, you can see how the cheese is starting to crust up here. Yeah. It's 
starting to turn color a little bit. So we'll call that good. Let me cancel this. So now I'm going to put it in some uh, bowls here for you guys to try to figure out what's what. So give me a, give me a second here. Okay, so this is all the bass. So this is all walleye here. Okay, so bass, walleye. Okay, let's, let's give it a whirl here, you guys. All right, so we don't know which is which, right? Hmm. One's bass. One bull's bass, one bull's walleye. One bull's walleye. Okay, this is actually harder to tell than I thought. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this one here. Suspect fish A. Suspect fish B, okay. And you eat a lot of walleye. Mm -hmm. See, I don't eat very much, like, I don't very rarely eat walleye, so it might be harder for me to even tell. That's really good. I have my guess. You have your guess? You ate one of each already? Mm -hmm. okay, so you, you know which bowl, which bowl you took mm -hmm. which one out of? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call this one A, right? A and B. And B. Hmm. All right, that is good. <clears throat> they both taste so similar. Do they? Yeah. Do you think you know? I think I know. I think I know. I think I know, but Try. they taste very similar. In fact, I say the taste is like almost exactly the same. I don't think it's the taste that... It's the consistency? Mm -hmm. That made my mind. I'm like not a huge fish eater, period, so we'll see. That was B, right? That was B. That was B. Yeah. That was that one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's go one, one at a time. One at a time. Everyone say which one is which one's which. Okay. So let's go first. Walleye, bass. Seriously? Cool. Okay, walleye, bass. Yep. Okay. Cool. I think exactly the opposite. You're saying walleye, bass. Yeah. I think walleye, bass. So this is the walleye. See? So you can see right there. It's I got it right. all the time. You know how I knew? I ate it all the time. This, way fishier. Yeah, this, yeah. I could like taste the mud from the bass. Like I could just taste, this is like, that had, this has amazing flavor to flavor, me. This yeah. I can like tell it's a bass. I instantly tasted the flavor out of the walleye yeah. versus the bass was just like, like you said, mud. Almost. It, it was yeah. good. It's yeah. still good. Well, that shows you how close it is. Yeah. Yeah. They were both really good, but yeah, this yeah. one, I could just taste it was like, I can just tell it was bass. I really so, could. So you take this here with a little bit heavier seasoning, mm -hmm. you would never know. Yeah. yeah. I, I went light on purpose, just not mask that, but. The walleye is amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah that walleye is so good. good. If you haven't eaten walleye, you need to. We got a whole pan right here. Wow. Unbelievable. Good stuff. I guess I can be wrong once in a while. Okay, so the verdict is walleye, obviously. Would you eat a bass? Absolutely. Yeah, bass? Every day. Yeah. Every day? Mm -hmm. I would, yeah. 100%, yep. Yeah. I eat them a lot too, but I, I would prefer them fried, for sure. Really? Like, just deep fried, like anything good deep fried. Oh, yeah. yeah. It seems to get a lot of that, like, fishier taste out when you deep fry yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was a little bit more bland than the walleye. Yeah. For sure, so either seasoned or deep fried. But I will say that recipe that he uses, that's a money recipe. If you guys haven't tried that, Make sure you guys try that for sure. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Like I said, we have a bunch of videos coming out from this whole weekend. Code in the description if you guys want to take advantage of it. Stay tuned till next time.